it's me, it's Claire. So, welcome to Thursday's brainstorming session. Today, I'm here to really get across to you, from my heart, what I believe is the secret to my PR success. So, later this month, I think it's on the 28th, I'm hosting a workshop. It's a two hour workshop and it's called Pitch It Powerfully. And on that session, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the five C's. So I'm sharing with you everything that's worked for me. I'm gonna through, going go through clarity, clarity on your message because it's so important that you know who it is you're speaking to and what it is that you want to see. If you haven't really thought that far about it, it's maybe time to do that now. The other thing that I believe, another C, the second C, is confidence. You have to have confidence in yourself, in your message. And that comes with experience and with time and often with getting it wrong first. You have to have conviction. So I think sometimes if you're hoping that this is the key to your success, maybe we need to take a couple of steps back and find some conviction for what it is, what you do and why you do it and who you do it for. Do you have a mission in there or is it just a business? Consistency. It's all very well and good turning up once a week or turning up when we feel like it. But the most successful times that I've had in my business is when I've been shown up and taken all these small action steps every day. And it can be a drain on your resources. It can really eat away at your energy. But having that consistency or having a way to encourage yourself with that consistency is, is key, really. Encourage, because the other side of this is having the power to say no. Not, not just about knowing where you want to be, but knowing where you don't want to be. Where do you not want to be featured? You know, do you have values that you feel would be in conflict if you were to put yourself forward for certain publications. Maybe explore that. I had to go through that and really think about, you know, my, my ideal client, where is she? But also, is there anything that she would be sensitive to? And often our ideal client is me. My ideal client is me two or three years ago. And perhaps your ideal client is you two or three years ago. So, so for my business, it's very clear that I provide a service. I'm changing the paradigm. That's my goal. My goal is to rebrand sober. So I needed a way to break through what was already accepted and find a way to get people to just stop and listen, whether that's important to them or not. So you need to maybe do that helicopter view of your own service or your own business and think, where's the story here? We all love a story. Don't worry, I watched Helen, is it Helen with the, the crocheted gloves? I watched her live and there was parts of her that I was like, I want, to I want you to tell me more. I want to tell me more. I want to tell me about a memory she's got where our mum and our grandma were teaching her how to knit and what that really means to her in her heart. Like, I want to know that. That's what I want to know. And that would, would actually connect with each other through our emotions. And so the press are looking for that all the time. Don't forget that they're trying to sell these newspapers or they're trying to get these magazines picked up off the shelf. So it's important to start getting familiar with the, the publications that you feel attracted to or you believe that your ideal client might be reading. And don't forget, you don't need to go so niche. You don't have to have it about, about your specific business. We buy off people. But people want to know who you are and why you do what you do. And that's what the press are looking for. They're looking for that human connection. And I think you, you just need to get your head around the idea of by buying the magazines and and looking at what comes forward, I mean, some of the things that I've been in, 
The last one was about lessons in resilience. So there I am. I laugh every time I look at it because I look like I'm taking myself very seriously. And it's about me losing four stone after I ditched alcohol. Now my business, I'm a life coach that specializes in supporting women who believe that they need wine. You know, all of the the media and the the whole money, mummy needs wine culture. I'm there fighting against it. So I'm using my weight loss, which of course it's a direct result. I'm not turning up and just saying, I'm looking for women to, have to buy my book. I'm taking a helicopter view and I'm thinking about my ideal client and I'm thinking about what is in it for her. Why does she care? Now, she, if I'd said, who wants to stop drinking wine, they probably wouldn't read it. But because, because it's focusing on my weight loss and because it's talking about resilience, I'm getting the message across in a much more su subtle way. Then even if I'd paid, paid all the money for a double page spread and plastered across, you know, ring me now to stop drinking wine. This is a much gentler, nicer way to get it out there. And none of these, none of these um, opportunities are going to be the magic key. I wanted to share that with you to say, these have doubled my audience, these opportunities. They've, they've, they've increased my confidence. And they've also given me what I call the trust tags. The trust tags are where you can list on your social media and on your website and on your, in your book, perhaps, where you've been featured. So anybody sees that, they go, oh my gosh, she's been on TV. Let's have a look. She must be good. Oh, look, she's been in the Daily Mail. And obviously because of my ideal reader, my ideal client i can really you can look you can google and you can look at woman magazine what is the demographic who who are they aiming at they've done the work or you can look at platinum magazine which is the one that i really wanted to be in right because my ideal client like all the women who are on the front of these this magazine look are people who my ideal client would stop and, and look and they would listen they would read They'll pick that up because I'm aiming at women who are around that age and women who who probably look to the media for ideas about skincare and the latest fashion. So what I'm doing is I'm riding on the back of their success and riding on the back of their knowledge by tapping in to what's already out there. So by my, I bought this magazine and I went through the magazine and I, I looked at some of the headlines. I looked at the sort of things that were talking about. I started talking about those things to my audience. And I was really surprised and, you know, I was hitting right on. Oh, these people have done the research. They've got all that bag up. They've got the budget to know, it's, as have their advertisers. You know, this is all good information. Who advertises in there? You know, like even this... That's all about British Heart Foundation, about life insurance, travel insurance. But you can even go deeper with things like the fashion. All right, let's give you an example. One of the advertisers in here was Bowdoin. I think it's Bowdoin Fashion and also Cotton Traders. So I went and I followed them online on their social media and I support I support the magazine's social media. I turn up in the community. I turn up in the community of the other places where I'm trying to find my ideal client, where she would hang out, what she would be interested in. Can you see how I'm getting in the mind of her? I'm getting, I'm getting in the mind of my ideal client by doing this. The other thing that you can do, which I also did was, obviously you can make a note of the editors. All the information is in here. The team, they have all the details on there. And obviously you might try a few times and you might get it wrong and you might pitch and you might say too much. I sent lots of information the first few times and I didn't get anywhere. And then the next times, once I started taking notice of their community online, I started finding out what, what they wanted. You know, I started following some of the experts and keeping an eye 
on, where is it? Actually, I've, got, I've marked the pages. This thing's like this. I haven't done this yet, but street style, you could send your photograph in. And you're just thinking about this like a community and you're getting involved. They also have, um, where is it? Ambassadors where they look for ambassadors so they want you to get involved they're looking for people when they're doing surveys and the if you get yourself involved in that community then pretty soon when the opportunities come up and you put yourself forward then you get in you know you're in there so there's various different ways you can use a magazine and, and that just totally lights me up my background is in marketing and, and I'm just drawn to it. My book is in a magazine style. I had my branding and my photographs taken. And and I think it's it's just in line with my audience and how I'm wanting to show up. And it might be something that suits with yours as well. You know, these photographs and, and having, um, you know, all of that, like the fashion. And because it's what I'm about and what lights me up, it will attract it'll attract my ideal client and the people who want to be around me, the people who want to, to connect with me in that way. Um, so I, I do want to give you the last three things I want to mention is what it's not. Three things about what it's not. And I've also got four things actually about what it is. So what it's not, it's not a route to stacks of cash. Okay, it's not the key to your success. It's actually just another stepping stone and it's going to grow your confidence. It's going to get you out there. You're going to have the trust tags then to put on your social media. And once you get access into one, it's much easier to leverage that, to send that, to get into the next one. Yeah. So the other thing it's not is you're not in 100% control. So what you do need to do is you need to ask for things like a read back. I pitched at one point magazine about my friend I lost my friend that's what inspired me to stop drinking and to start looking after my own health she died and although I put that as part of my pitch all they wanted was her photograph for me to share her photograph and I didn't feel that was for me to do I didn't feel I couldn't see what the benefit was of doing that and I held true to my own my values I didn't just get excited and run with it and go in the first newspaper that came I had a I had a proper sit down and think about where do I want to go where am I going to get the most impact and where am I going to be taken like I wanted to show up in the places where where women felt like woman, woman magazine for me it's been around for such a long time it's got that household name um, I, that's what I felt was important. I, I wanted women to feel like this was something that wasn't just a flash in the pan. I was here to stay. And by sharing my conviction and in, in how hard I've worked in order to get my message out there, it just gives you a different level. You start taking yourself more seriously. You also get the headlines because the headlines that they take your story and then they put it into their words that they know is going to attract people who want to read it. So some of the, the headlines that they've used for me, I wouldn't have been able to dream them up. I mean, like one of them was um, that I, Claire, retrained as a life coach after, after volunteering in a, in a recovery clinic. In just that one sentence, Claire, we've, no, I retrained as a life coach. Well, I change it now. I say I studied life coaching after volunteering in a recovery clinic. So that tells them a few things, doesn't it? It tells them that I'm serious. It tells them I've got conviction. It tells them that I've, I've studied hard for this, right? It tells them that I've volunteered. I care. It shows them that I had a direct path from where I was to where I wanted to be. And I've taken that path. It says such a lot in one sentence. And that for me was something that I couldn't have bought that. Well, I probably could have. I could have paid a lot of money for that. You know, and and it just gives the clients that you've even got another level of focus because it shows that you're committed, you're committed to this cause. But it can also drain a lot of your energy. Okay. So what it is, it's free exposure, it gives you confidence and it gives you clarity in your message. 
and hopefully if you're lucky you get some killer headlines that you can rehash and use again in your social media and you can write blog posts the one thing you mustn't do i might have done it before i knew much about it is take a photograph you're not supposed to take photographs because obviously it's for copyright they're trying to sell the magazines it's no good you you getting a feature and then taking a picture and sharing it with all your people what you really want is for them to go out and buy the magazine um so it's just honoring that and understanding that and and, and getting your head around why you're doing it who you're trying to attract and why um so i hope that gives you enough to make you want to come along to the workshop like i said it's two hours we're going to hopefully be getting some real action as to what you would say how would you pitch what angle of your story are you prepared to share you know it's not just about pitching and aiming for that one thing you could respond to things in the letters page you know it's, it's really about thinking outside the box and we haven't even touched on you know your local magazines and, and really tapping into to even thinking about local businesses and how you can connect how you can collaborate but it's always making sure that you're thinking about what's in it for them as well you know it, it's it's a two-way thing that that especially when you're getting free advert free pr if you're aiming for an advert that's completely different when you're paying a lot of money for it clarity confidence conviction consistency and courage now you might think confidence and courage is the same but i don't think it is i feel like the clarity is the first step which i hope i'm giving you some clarity today to think well what's the point like you could just chuck it out there and get in some you know newspaper but then what you then what happens like you, you need to put it in as part of your route you need women to really to see it's about who you are and for them to maybe find you on social media and then be surprised about what it is that you do um so don't feel like you're put in a box and because you make those wonderful gloves that that's all you know you you're there to talk about take that helicopter view share your story from where you were what what got you to that stage we want to know we want to know about the story behind that was that resilience what was it that you needed and, and that could be your pitch your pitch could be how i use resilience to start my business using using the the skills that i picked up from generations in my family and and how that makes you feel every day when you've created something that you're passing on um, because that really pulls on people's heartstrings, doesn't it? It's just a different way of packaging exactly the same product. And you can play around with it in many different ways. And by immersing yourself in these books that we know have got all of the special, you know, they've got the, the, the background budget to have done this research. So we're really just modeling what it is that they're talking about. I'm not saying copying. But you're modeling that and you're keeping an eye on what it is that they're doing to grab people's attention. What is it, you know, pay attention to what grabs your attention. Pay attention to what makes you stop and take notice. It's usually the human story. It's the story behind the business. And that's really what PR is. They want to know the story behind your business and who you are so we can connect with you on an emotional level. So I hope you got that. I hope that makes you want to come for more. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Gita. Thank you for watching. Um, that's it from me. See you next week. I'll make sure that we'll put the link in so that anybody who hasn't already booked up can book up because it's a free workshop, two hours, and I'm really hoping to help people get clarity with the message. Anyone who comes will be offered, drum roll, please, an invite on my show on youtube which is called in your opinion now i was invited on a radio show and i had to start the my pitch if you like with the three words in my opinion and i sat really really quietly to think about which angle will i go out with this you know how do i get across what i want to say and when i when i came up with what i did it was just such a powerful way to get it, my point across because saying in my opinion you can pretty much say anything you want after that and I just wanted to gift that to other women who are 
running their businesses to really try and get some clarity to behind their what is it what is it that likes you what is it that make what do you love what is it that gets you feeling passionate you know because it'll be linked you might not think it is but there's a reason why you do what you do every day there's a reason there and, and people want to know about that reason so if you're prepared to go deep and you want to get yourself on my show on youtube like i'll really help to get it out of you and then we'll be able to use that you can use that to share your message to your audience and there's something special about when two women are are chatting and really helping each other to shine and i think that that's what i want to give to anybody who wants to come forward and feels like they're ready because someone did that for me and that really made me feel ready and take myself seriously because no one's coming to do it for you if this is your business and how you're making money this is up to you it's it's got to come down to you so let me help come to the workshop i can't wait to meet you all there bye from me